The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupiansk direction, a battalion tactical group of the armed forces of Ukraine, supported by a group of nationalists, attempted to attack Russian forces positions at a narrow front stretch towards Novosolovskoye of Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy units have been stopped by strikes launched by army aviation, heavy flamethrower systems, artillery and intensive action of Russian forces. These units are under fire attacks. Moreover, an enemy company tactical group attempted to attack Russian positions near Kotlerovka of Kharkov region. Firepower's operation has resulted in the frustration of the attack launched by the Ukrainian armed forces units. Up to 200 Ukrainian personnel, 8 tanks, 9 armored fighting vehicles and date pickups have been eliminated in the above-mentioned direction. In Krasny Leman direction, two enemy battalion tactical groups made an unsuccessful attempt to launch an attack towards Polshanka, Artemovka, Stelmachovka of Lugansk People's Republic and Yampolovka of Donetsk People's Republic. Attacks launched by Russian artillery and dummy aviation have resulted in the elimination of up to 250 Ukrainian personnel and nationalists, two tanks, four armored fighting vehicles, one Grad multiple launch rocket system, one self-propelled artillery system and 12 motor vehicles. In addition, a high-precision attack launched by Russian aerospace forces has resulted in the elimination of up to 100 militants from nationalist groups and mercenaries, including about 40 mercenaries from the USA, United Kingdom and Poland, as well as 10 armored fighting vehicles. In South Donetsk direction, Russian artillery units and assault groups have neutralized Ukrainian units near Pavlovka and Novomikhailovka of Donetsk People's Republic. Up to 70 Ukrainian personnel, one tank, one infantry fighting vehicle, four pickups and two U.S. manufactured M777 howitzers have been eliminated. In Nikolaev Krivoy Rok direction, up to one enemy mechanized infantry company attacked Russian forces positions towards Sablukovka and Petikatki of Kherson region. Firepower superation and successful action of Russian units have resulted in driving the enemy back to initial positions. Over 50 Ukrainian personnel, 8 armored fighting vehicles and 10 motor vehicles have been eliminated. Moreover, two Ukrainian self-propelled artillery systems have been destroyed by loitering ordnance near Novopetrovka of Kherson region. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery have neutralized the command post of the 72nd mechanized infantry brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces near Prochistovka of Donetsk People's Republic, as well as 67 artillery units at their firing positions, manpower and military equipment in 184 areas. An ordnance depot of the 65th mechanized brigade of the Ukrainian armed forces has been destroyed near Zaporozhye. Moreover, an attack launched at the Ordnance Depot of the Ukrainian Armed Forces near Krasnoarmeysk of Donetsk People's Republic has resulted in the destruction of 120 rockets launched by U.S. manufactured HIMARS MLRS, 250 rockets launched by Smirch MLRS, and two transport loading vehicles. Fighter aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces has shot down one Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle over Yarolgach Island of Kherson region. Air defense facilities have shut down 16 unmanned aerial vehicles near Plodovoye, Vishnovoye, Lvovo, Pershotravnivoye, Ishchenko, Bruskinskoye, Novaya Kakhovka of Kherson region, Snigirovka in Nikolaev region, Nikolskoye, Volnovakha, Lubovka and Novoandreevka of Donetsk People's Republic. Eight rockets, including six launched by U.S. manufactured HIMARS MLRS, have been intercepted near Antonovka of Kherson region and Donetsk. Two rockets launched by all high MLRS near Antonovka of Kherson region, as well as one U.S. manufactured harm anti-radiation missile near Novaya Kakhovka of Kherson region. Moreover, one Ukrainian Tochka U ballistic missile has been shot down near Kozemovka of Lugansk People's Republic. In total, 331 airplanes and 169 helicopters, 2,452 unmanned aerial vehicles, 386 air defense missile systems, 6,398 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 883 fighting vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,560 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 7,086 units of special military equipment have been destroyed 
during the special military operation. The Kyiv regime continues its provocations aimed at creating a possible technological disaster at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Over the past 24 hours, Ukrainian artillery units have launched 15 large-caliber projectiles at Energodar and the territory adjacent to the nuclear power plant. The shelling was conducted from the Ukrainian-controlled areas of Vyshetarasovka and Kapulovka of Dnepropetrovsk region. Russian artillery's counter-attack has resulted in the destruction of one Ukrainian armed B howitzer and two Ukrainian armed forces vehicles. The radiation environment at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant remains normal.